When I was in school, I did struggle with my grades. I didn't really like school because I was struggling. I didn't feel confident about myself at all. I felt like I just reached my breaking point. Like, I didn't care no more. Forget school, forget life. I started working when I was on a young age. It was crap milling. My life wasn't focused on school. Public education is designed to provide all young people at a shot with the American dream. Each year, we see about 1.2 million young people who never graduate and never will, which means they are pipelined to be second-class citizens. For many of the kids that I serve, the idea of what's normal is very different. What's normal for them is the power going out, moving every six months, calling your mom while she's at work and trying to make sure you're not getting her fired. These children didn't choose to be disadvantaged. They didn't choose to be poor. They didn't choose to not have mentorship. And they didn't choose to not have the basic necessities at home. Our mission is to go to the poorest performing schools and the poorest kids in America. So it is going to the heart of the dropout problem and attending to the non-academic barriers so that we could actually free up the young people to be able to learn. In community are extraordinary resources. They're just disconnected from the very young people that need them. When you link those great resources with a kid that's really in need, magic happens. And you see kids just flourish, even in the most dire circumstances, when there's a caring adult providing them the kinds of resources they need to be able to succeed academically. The communities and school site coordinators are the hub of activity in the school. They connect children with whatever they need. My job is to empower them, bring the community and the resources that are around to support them. They may have what it takes, but they don't know what steps they need to take in order to get there. If I would not have met Mr. Weeks, I would probably not be in high school. He was the one who provided me for anything I needed help with in school or at home. He gave me hope. He gave me a lot of hope, put me back on track. That's what our schools need to be doing, is allowing our teachers to teach so that our staff, who are dedicated, giving, generous social workers and counselors, can get to the root of what's going on with that child and fix it. Communities and Schools has a, a unique and critical role in helping to improve education in America. For every dollar invested in communities and schools, we return to the community $11.60. There is actually a good economic argument to do the right and just thing. Communities and schools knows that the heart of every child wants to succeed. We unlock that voice within the child that says, I can be something bigger and I can be something better because someone believes in me. You did it, good job. I'm getting these kids ready to be successful in life. Our mission is to surround these students with a community of support. I'm here for you and you can do it. You can still succeed. I will help you make it through school. Well, right now I see a very bright future. And I know I, that when I fall, I have somebody to catch me. I'm really excited about my future, that I can read and I can do math. I think I could be anything I want to be if I just put my mind to it. I'm almost out of high school. I'm figuring I'd go to college, start my life. My future is very bright. The grass is greener on the other side. For these kids to understand how learning is such an important gift, the struggles that they go through every day, and yet they can still come to school, and they can have a smile on their face, then I know I made a difference.